Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Robbins. I'm a neurologist and headache specialist at Wild Cornell Medicine at New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York City in the United States. I'm an International Headache Society member, and I'm here to talk about cluster headache. Well, what is cluster headache? It is a neurological disease that is far less common than tension-type headache and migraine. However, it still occurs in 1 in 1,000 people in their lifetime and 1 in 2,000 people in any given year. Cluster headache occurs more often in men than in women, with about a three to one ratio. The headache is accompanied by prominent unilateral autonomic signs on the same side, such as the headache, including tearing, conjunctival injection, ptosis, eyelid edema, rhinorrhea, as well as forehead and facial sweating. In cluster headache, the pain is located to the orbital, supraorbital, temporal regions, or in any combination of these sites. A key feature of cluster headache is that patients become restless during their attacks, which is an important feature distinguishing it from migraine. Cluster headache may be distinctly recognized for its pattern, where attacks may last for 15 minutes to up to three hours and occur up to eight times per day and take place in clusters. These bouts may last for weeks or months at a time and may occur seasonally. About 10% of people with cluster headache may have chronic cluster headache, where remissions between attack periods are not present at all or last less than three months every single year. Patients with cluster headache may have triggers for their attacks, such as alcohol, relaxing when taking naps, but they, these triggers typically evoke attacks only during a cluster period and not at other times. Cluster headache has genetic factors that are complex and not well understood. Its pathophysiology may relate to activation of the hypothalamus, leading to repetitive activation of the trigeminoautonomic reflex via the superior salivatory nucleus of the brainstem and the sphenopalatine ganglion peripherally, the trigeminovascular system, and release of pain-signaling neuropeptides, such as calcitonin gene-related peptide. Our understanding of the anatomy and neurobiology of cluster headache has led to better therapeutic for patients worldwide. There are numerous successful treatments for cluster headache, which means it's critical for clinicians all over the world to recognize what may be the most painfully painful physical disorder any human may experience.